morning. Um, it's now 6.30 a.m. Um, I'm gonna leave the house now. Uh, just wanted to start the vlog. I'm gonna keep this running and let's hope I get my visa now. I just got denied. I just got my visa application denied. I guess I'm not coming back to the S for a while. I gotta say that it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I obviously like played with the thought that it's not gonna happen. And it's really not about anything I said. It's not a permanent thing. Like I'm not banned from the US. I can reapply again. I could reapply again tomorrow and like go through the same process again, maybe get a different person interviewing me. Um, but I really felt like he was trying. I'm not mad. I got actually, <laughs> I got actually weirdly excited when I got that denied. It's a punch in the face. I need a punch in the face, you know? I've never gotten a punch in the face. This is a punch in the fucking face. What do I do now? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I like this. It's weird to think that I like this, but I actually do like this. You know, now I gotta figure it out. Now it's up to me. Yes, weirdly, I don't know why I like this. It's it's weird. Maybe I don't like this and I'm lying to myself, but I know that I weirdly like it. Well, I, I also would have liked it to get the visa, don't get me wrong, but I mean, now there's no going back. Uh, I'll probably, should I go to Hong Kong now? Should I go to Canada now? Fun stuff happening. This is a punch in the fucking face. It's good. I needed a punch in the fucking face. Well, no one really. Well, actually, you know. It's just been going too smooth for me until now. This was bound to happen. Yes. Ha! <sighs> Let's figure out what we do now. If you think I'm handling this situation in an emotionally stable um, way, I'm not. I just bought some way overpriced healthy food. This is actually coffee. It's coffee with like um, cit uh, lemon juice and herbs and shit. And it's a very weird combination. It's like when it first you know, the first reaction is like, oh wow, and then the second reaction is like, what the fuck? It's really that. Oh, what, what the fuck? That's how I'm dealing with this situation. The reason why I don't think that the guy who interviewed me trying to, you know, just deny me, um, just because. At some point throughout the interview, he was holding my passport. passport passport and I saw that his hand was shaking pretty significantly and I was like was he shaking in the beginning I mean I know people who are just shaky and I'm like I don't think so and that's when it dawned on me I'm like oh oh he's about to give me the bad news and he's scared to give me the bad news so that's why I really think it, it's not on him. It's not because he didn't like my face or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's me trying to, you know, distract myself. But I just walked through Berlin. I think I took photos for like two hours. You know, I might just become a photographer now that I can't come back to the U.S. You know, you always gotta have a plan B. Full-time photographer now. I really want people to know that my happiness. It's not predicated on being in New York or the US. Um, I, can, I can make it happen. 
I can, you know, it's not that my life is crushed now. Like, I have friends in New York. I fucking love New York. But if it doesn't work right now, it doesn't work right now. No. I got my visa denied. Mit was? I got my visa denied. Das musst du mir erstmal auf Deutsch sagen, Digga. Die, die, haben, die haben mein Visa nicht angenommen. Nein. Yes. What? Warum? Okay, so here's why, here's how the whole situation went down with the interview and why I think I got denied for my visa. Um, so just for context for the people who don't know, I applied for a B1 visa to go to the US. Um, because, and the B1 visa is pretty much the lowest tier visa of all the visas. It's, just, it's a non-immigrant visa, which is important um, for for later when I go into why I think I got denied. It's a non-immigrant visa. It only gives me six months in New York or in the US. Um, until now, I've been in the US on an ESTA. It's, a, it's called Visa Waiver. And that's just an um, agreement between e the EU and America that anyone can come to the US anywhere between a couple of days, up to 90 days, um, just to travel, um, experience America, um, I did that twice in a row and both of the times I pretty much stayed the whole 90 days and that's the second important point later when I go into why I got denied. So I did that twice now and in between those two three month periods I was only in Germany for I think 10 days when I went back and so I thought okay now I want to stay a bit longer so let's not go for an ESTA again and so I applied for B1 visa, B1, B2 which is a travel business visa um, and so the interview um, was pretty straightforward. He asked me a couple of questions. He was actually very nice, the person who interviewed me. Um, he asked me what I do, what my plans are while being in the US. He asked me how long I want to stay. He understood I have a business in Germany, based in Germany. I have international clients, some of them are based in the US. I have other clients based in Germany or Canada. Um, and I'm allowed to go to the US to, to travel, to biz dev, to meet clients, to have meetings, to negotiate contracts. So all of that stuff is, is all, all fine and all good. The reason why I got denied is because um, if I would have been allowed to go in, I pretty much with three months, first ESTA, then 10 days in Germany, then another three months of an ESTA, and now I'm in, in Germany for like three weeks and then I go for another six months to the US on that B1 visa, I pretty much would have spent 95% of my time during the last year on American soil. And that's just not a non-immigrant visa. And I probably should have known that before. Um, I'm a very optimistic person. So I just thought like, yeah, I just go there. You know, it will work out. It's it's nothing permanent. It's not that I'm banned from the US now. I can apply anytime. I could apply again tomorrow and go through the process again and have another interview. Now it's just for me to like see the opportunities, the alternatives. Maybe go to Hong Kong, maybe go to Canada. Like, I don't know, I haven't decided. Um, I haven't made a like certain plan B that I'm like, okay, if this doesn't happen, this is the next step. I'll figure out the next step. Um, but you know, it's a, it's a punch in the face, um, but it's good. You know, I haven't had any punches in the face pretty much until now. Everything's been going smoothly and I know sooner or later, like there are setbacks. This is one of them. I don't know. It's just weirdly very satisfying, weirdly satisfying to be punched in the face and standing up again than not being punched in the face in the first place. There's something about this like, Oh, and now I'm going to show you. Maybe that will change, you know? Maybe I'm going to like ball up and then start crying into sleep now. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm just not kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was why I got denied. Um, I'm going to figure something out now. You know, next vlog tomorrow. Maybe I'm going to a different city now. Um, yeah, let me, let me know what, what, you know, what do you think?
Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. So funny thing is when I when I got denied, I walked out of the embassy with like the biggest smile on my face. And I I, I know like all the people I passed, they're like, oh he got he got accepted. Awesome, congrats. And I'm like, nah bitch. <laughs>